Tech Tuesday, we're in a new set with a new intro. Look, more TVs, just what I wanted. But I'm still filtering out all the useless junk and bringing you only the usable junk. I'm Liam Spore. Number five, Dell continues to make good monitors to use with your Alienwares and MacBooks. Seeing as making good computers has really dropped in importance for Dell. The newest high-end display is the 24-inch U2410. Using a new IPS panel, the 2410 is rated with a 6 millisecond response time at 1900 by 1200 resolution and 16 by 10 aspect ratio. With HDMI, DVI-D, DisplayPort, and component connectors, this thing could easily replace your TV in a dorm room or bedroom, as long as you're using Hulu, not regular cable. $599 is a bit steep, seeing as you can pick up a 32-inch Vizio for under $400. Wait, that actually makes no sense. Forget all that and just pick up a Sony Vizio. Number four, the iPhone gets MMS. The most recent updates allows iPhone users to, get this guys, send picture messages with words. By late summer, AT&T only meant early fall. Wait, where are the balloons and the confetti? Oh yeah, that's because MMS on a smartphone is more standard than a keyboard. Number three. The Nikon D3000 is far more basic than the big number plays it to be. This camera is set at the entry-level DSLR range at about 600 bucks for a body and a lens. The shots are decent, but the feature set is lacking compared to some other cameras at the same price. It has no HD video shooting, but has multiple modes that teach new users by being half-auto then allowing certain settings to be manually adjusted as prompted by the camera. This cool concept allows early-level photographers to learn the basics while not taking horribly blown out, blurry, or generally bad photos while learning. I don't really mind taking bad pictures, so long as I don't have to spend two periods of photography class processing them. Number two, planning on getting an iMac? Stop. Same goes for MacBooks. Rumors are that new updates on iMacs and MacBooks, yes, those old white polycarb ones, are coming in the next week or so. The new iMacs, which are said to be already in production, should be slimmed down yet again, get some new functionality, and have yet another price drop. Also, it's possible that Blu-ray drives will be an optional feature. The MacBook rumors are far more iffy. The white book may become Apple's answer to the sub $700 PC market that attracts students and families alike. I'm not going to get dead set on getting a new iMac for less money with a Blu-ray to replace my old PC, because we all know how well that went last time. And number one, Modern Warfare 2 drops in 41 days, leaving you just enough time to scrape up $400. Why $400? because there is a new Xbox 360 bundle that features a Modern Warfare 2 themed 250 gig 360, two controllers and a copy of Modern Warfare 2. This thing looks totally awesome and kind of defeats any plan of buying those silly covers that Mad Cats is selling that I talked about last week. Bad news for any 360 owners hoping to get those 250 gig drives on sale individually for an upgrade, they won't be. And if they did, Microsoft would probably charge you about $250 for a laptop drive stuck inside a plastic case. That's all for this week, except knowing that all of you loyal Tech Tuesday fans go to any link I post, I would like you to check out this place, NorthHillsHomeworkHelp.ning.com, set up by our very own Joe Plazik. It's a social network for homework help where you can join and get student and teacher provided aid with homework questions. It may sound like a crazy idea, but the concept of 140 characters about random things you're doing did too, then it ended up on CNN. Check out the new Tech Tuesday YouTube page while you're out there trolling the interwebs at youtube.com slash techtuesday. I'll see you guys next week.